lately, well, Modern Warfare 2 has kind of been going downhill, similar to Vanguard last year, I've been grinding Black Ops Cold War with my buddies, my podcast pals. Yo! Look at this. Bonk. 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 <laughs> YouTuber podcast, come check us out. But while doing so, while playing Prop Hunt and Zombies Onslaught, the thought of what is COD 2024 gonna do seeped into my mind. You see, Cold War is kind of a weird case scenario. While there are a number of original maps that I really liked, like Miami Strike, Satellite, and Moscow, oh, and of course America, and besides the movement and the whole stim system, it's kind of a boring, nothing sandwich kind of 66 <laughs> multiplayer. The time to kill was increased, making it longer, but things like tack rifles were not balanced around this time to kill. And as for maps, all of the remasters and remakes kind of overshadowed everything, stripping the game's identity away from itself. Like get this, 41% of the maps in this game are remasters, and one of them is like the fifth reiteration of Nuketown. So when I ask myself what is COD 2024 gonna do, I think about what Treyarch's past Call of Duties have done. My real life friends do not want to play Cold War 6v6. My YouTube circle? despises Black Ops 4. Rightfully so, I mean, who wants pay to win weapons in multiplayer? <laughs> Modern Warfare 2 looking at you too. Really playing with fire with those bundles. But yes, Treyarch 6v6 COD multiplayers have just been going downhill for me since like BO3 and even to some extent BO2. The only redeeming factors I've seen in BO3 at least was the jetpacks, the new maps and the movement, and at least that game's remade DLC maps were remade, not remastered, but BO3 still had pay to win weapons weapons and supply drops. It didn't exactly have a direct way to get the DLC weapons, you had to use weapon bribes which were randomized, and there weren't enough of them to unlock all the DLC weapons. Then there's BO4, it like made specialist weapons so much worse and obnoxious. Treyarch even said that they weren't gonna do any pay to win shenanigans with their own supply drops, they weren't even gonna have supply drops, but oh no no. Reserve crates, baby. Totally not supply drops, they, are, they give you one item instead of three. And there's no weapons in them, no no no, at least for a little while there weren't. <laughs> but eventually they did add weapons to supply drops and I'm never gonna let that go. Kinda near the end of BO4's life cycle, these weapons became earnable in BO4, but this is something that we should never forget about BO4. Never again. And now that we see it's happening in MW2, I don't think I'm gonna let this go either. And then we got Cold War, like, no pay to win weapons in supply drops anymore, that's a good sign. No specialists? That's kinda cool. <laughs> oh wait, they're just the streaks instead. Yeah, let's just slip those specialist weapons into the streak system, make it not reset, so basically every streak is a specialist weapon at this point. <laughs> ay ay ay. And just to add the little cherry on top, Black Ops Cold War and BO4 had remastered maps. Granted, apparently these games both had really rushed development cycles. BO4 was trying to make multiplayer something it wasn't, and then they had to scrap it. And then you got Cold War, which came out two years after Black Ops 4, which is kinda odd because it was supposed to come out three years later. However, Sledgehammer Games didn't get their game out, so Treyarch was kinda forced to put one together. Slappity pappity and here we got Cold War. Outcome, Trinko, Trinko boom. boom, we had two Treyarch Cods in a row that were rushed together. But now, Call of Duty 2024. Instead of the default three-year cycle, instead of the usual two-year cycle Treyarch's been dealt for the past two Call of Duties they've made, they now have a four-year cycle. So I, Matsuki, present to you guys my little pitch for Black Ops 2024. Campaign, multiplayer, and zombies. The complete package. Bon appetit, I hope you guys enjoy. If you do agree with my take and sense of direction, please consider smashing that like button as it shows your support and amusement. Fluff yeah, let's get into it. So with all of this in mind, I could just give you guys my idealistic Call of Duty like with jetpacks and such, but I want to save that for another video. But in this video, I kind of want to propose something that would be interesting to see that Call of Duty has never really done before. However, it's kind of obviously got a pander to Treyarch's strong suit, which is why I'm going to propose that Call of Duty should make a purely zombies focused title. While the Treyarch devs have been under intense stress and cutting a lot of corners around the rest of the multiplayer and even zombies to some extent, I do still believe that their zombies experiences have been a beacon of light that seriously do surpass modes like Battle Royale, Co-op, Extinction, and occasionally multiplayer too. It's their one constant that keeps evolving seemingly for the better. Despite the crunch time and rushed half-baked experience like Black Ops 4, their zombies modes always have a sound theme, are very replayable, timeless, and they maintain a dedicated fanbase of casuals 
and hardcore zombies fanatics alike. I'm not gonna sit here and act like I'm a hardcore zombies fan myself, but I would seriously like to see a zombies Call of Duty that broadens the experience and makes it more accessible to the average COD fan. For the campaign, make it purely about the original zombies crew. Give us lore up front and don't make it convoluted and or difficult to follow. Black Ops 3's campaign should have been a good learning experience, and the lack of a campaign in BO4 angered so much fans that Treyarch hopefully now knows people want a good story. And since I'm now zombifying an entire Call of Duty title, I kind of hope a campaign oriented around zombies has a legit, fully fleshed out co-op option too. BO3's campaign may have fell flat with its storytelling, but having an optional co-op was one of the best things that's ever graced COD campaigns. So let's embrace it. A zombies campaign with four players would be instantly replayable and timeless. Yes, it would be a little bit more linear than other COD campaigns, but I would imagine it more similar to COD World War II's prologue zombies level. Your carriage gets overturned. The atmosphere is cinematic. You get a little jump scare that introduces you to this undead threat. And then finally you get into the two-story house where you can have a classic zombies room defender experience. This here is the tip of the iceberg, as some would say. So I think an official zombies campaign would be a huge hit. Something that could easily surpass MW2's raids and innovate the campaign genre. As for the classic zombies experience, obviously take campaign locations and turn them into regular round-based maps. For example, let's say there's a campaign level like World War II's Zombies Prologue. You go down a path, survive some rounds in the house, leave, and that's it. For COD 2024's Zombies campaign, perhaps that house is the bunker on Dime Machine. However, within the classic Zombies mode, you get all this additional space, a crashed airplane, the swamplands, and of course the underground laboratory slash bunker. I also believe Dime Machine's above ground bunker was originally a standalone map in World at War Zombies, but expanding that small bunker into a normal sized Zombies map in Black Ops Cold War was a great design decision for that game. Dime Machine is just honestly a treat to play. So giving COD 2024 a four year development cycle with a bunch of crossover assets like this would grant the whole team at Treyarch the most content packed experience yet. And it's not out of the blue for a campaign level to make it into multiplayer. Black Ops Cold War's campaign level with the Burger Town replica was turned into a multiplayer map called America. And within Zombies, that map was turned into Forsaken. The layouts, the aesthetics might be somewhat reused across multiple modes, but since it's all brand new assets within the same single COD title, I think it's 100% okay to get away with. What we really don't want and we want to stay far away from is recycled, remastered content that's from previous CODs. So while I gave Dime Machine as an example, I don't want to see the, <laughs> the Cold War Dime Machine map in COD 2024. You guys get what I'm saying? And so lastly, we find ourselves at multiplayer. This is a staple mode. I don't see it going away anytime soon, no matter how flawed a 66 experience ever is. Did BO4's longer time to kill ruin 6v6? No. Did MW19's larger, more complex maps ruin 6v6? No. Did Vanguard's World War II aesthetic cross with pop culture icons and flashy, uncanny skins kill 6v6? No, it didn't. We still have 6v6 every single year. But what I believe would honestly benefit COD, and my own sanity, is if multiplayer stuck to a dedicated theme. The artistic direction of recent CODs has been a dumpster fire. You think you're getting a World War II experience with Vanguard, but yeah. psych, say hello to this futuristic waifu outer space skin. It's just stupid. Even with Infinity Ward, the dev studio known for keeping things a bit more grounded. Modern Warfare 2 was actually doing quite well, but as of late, they've added a literal furry bunny suit times two. And yesterday, they added a glowing LED Damascus full bodysuit skin. It's the most pathetic shiz I've ever seen. How do you mess up a game's theme this badly? I don't even think it's a matter of skins aren't selling in the shop well when they're more grounded in reality. I think with the Modern Warfare 2 campaign, they should have just easily been able to see that the fans were hyped over the grounded Ghost Team skull masks. Ghost Team. He's got the masks! Hey. If you're in, I'll take a mask. If you're not. <laughs> Alright. Well. <laughs> well, this was a coincidence. Holy shit. Sweet. I wish I could happy with that. That's actually kind of funny. <laughs> that got real immersive. I know, right? One click from the gate, we soap the ghost. Got me all tight. Ah. Good work, Alejandro. Guys, thank you, six, Miss Wolf. Oh my God, it's like ghosts too. Oh. Look at this. We all got different masks too. Oh my God, I cannot wait for ghosts too. Like. They have to do something related to that for the next COD. Oh, that's so cool. The mission's called Ghost Team. 
Dude, are we getting Ghosts 2? Or even like a Ghosts remake next? That'd be sick. So why aren't they more prominent in multiplayer? Why did it take till season three to have the flipping character on the game's box art in the multiplayer? <sighs> So anyway, for COD 2024, I think a zombies theme would be great from the get-go. You wanna add crazy cosmetics? How about you just don't lie to our faces at and before launch? Keep it zombies themed. Go all out with the crystallized pyro skins, magical gods, and torn up battle-hardened soldiers. That sort of jazz. Another thing that I kind of miss about multiplayer and would love to see more of is the camaraderie and the banter between operators. BO3 started this sort of backstory and added a ton of character to its specialist operators, and I kind of miss that, especially in zombies like bruh cold war zombies use multiplayer characters instead of a zombies crew Shiz feels lifeless as fluff in cod 2024 i at least want a dedicated zombies crew in the campaign that interacts with each other with lots of meaningful stories and lore however in classic zombies and multiplayer at the bare minimum bring back a unique voice lines and dialogue between characters it doesn't have to be as detailed as the main zombies crew but give them more as for multiplayer maps they obviously need to be designed around multiplayer for proper 66 flow and pacing, you can still do unique things like add teleportation portals like that Zombies Museum map did in BO4. I didn't buy the Black Ops Pass, so I don't have any gameplay of it, unfortunately. But you can do stuff like that. You could also make Zombies maps based around holidays and release them according to the seasons that they correspond with. Cold War's Die Machine is a perfect example as we had a Christmas light map ready to play on around the Christmas holidays. I still remember my first year on Cold War around Christmas. Farming sniper headshots around the plane wing while listening to to one of my favorite VTubers, Yanners, sing Christmas karaoke songs like Last Christmas gave you my heart. Like, dude, that almost brings a tear to my eye. Like, I don't know if it's a nostalgic memory or if I'm just remembering how perfect things lined up back then. Everything lined up harmoniously. I was on my holiday break from work, staying up late at night with my heater and blankets. <laughs> ah, just good times, dude. And speaking of grinding, I don't think Shipment ever needs to touch 66 ever again. Zombies training is just a superior experience. <laughs> like, get this. Brain rot no longer affects the player. You actually have to buy it from a pack-a-punch machine and it's for killing zombie hordes. Aye aye aye. It is time Shipment and Joyers found a game mode that doesn't actively kill the rain cells. Check out Zombies, guys. You might enjoy a gameplay loop where you don't die to bad spawns. There's also a variety of enemies each round, and you can actually unlock perks and other equipment to make things easier as rounds progressively get harder. Not to mention, the Rampage Inducer just throws you straight into the action off the bat. I love it so much. It's so good. I highly recommend picking up Black Ops Cold War if you want the best Zombies experience out there to start off with. But to finish off with multiplayer, the devs could really get creative with the streaks like uh, the ray gun in 6v6 or how about the monkey bomb? What if new game modes are introduced like mystery box gun game or returning modes like horde point back from COD World War 2? There is a lot of creative potential when your multiplayer is set in a fantasy world. But yeah, those are the three main modes. I think to make things extra spicy, you could also include a new outbreak mode that rivals DMZ in MW2. This outbreak mode would have extractions and other hostile player teams just like in DMZ. Obviously, I would love to have a single player private match option if I just want to chill out and relax, that would be great. But as for the Battle Royale and Outbreak map itself, I think if it were zombies themed, it would look incredible. Dude, you could have a floating Fortnite island like Epstein. Can I even say that name on YouTube? Eps long pause. Steen Island? <laughs> you can most definitely have floating islands and other fantasy landmarks. You could do something similar like this map from BO3 where there's a bunch of POIs and environments mashed together. You also don't need a scavenging system like in DMZ. You could have regular zombies buy stations, pack-a-punch machines, and perk of ending machines scattered throughout the outbreak and warzone map. Dude, like, I don't care for Battle Royale as much in COD anymore, but I am all ears in for an open world game mode as long as it's fun, like DMZ and Outbreak. Bring it on, bro. Why don't you just put some bosses in there too? Like, bring back some sort of huge giant from Cold War's Outbreak. <laughs> Point is, I could go on for hours about the potential a COD based on zombies could entail. But I want to hear from you guys in the comments. Please drop a like on your way down there and do tell me what other fun zombie mode ideas you got too. Do you guys also think this idea of mine has potential? COD 2024 is already in development, but there's still a ways to go before it releases. I think it's a good idea to get our feedback out early. So yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, zombies. Roar.